Hello. Welcome to Film Focus Recaps. Kong and Godzilla stop their beef and team up to defeat Scar King and the strongest frozen monster. Watch how they will overcome these challenges. The movie starts with Kong's exhilarating fight with the thirsty Hound of Titans, but his one mighty punch punctures the ribs out of his body. He also blocks their way to the heroic Kong by ripping the place into pieces. He stomps the whole place with a large block of wood and breaks their courage by ripping their fellows into two. The dead Titan is divided into two, and Kong allows its dripping blood all over its body so they can predict its horrible end. This terrific move shivers the blood into their veins, and they run away. After cleaning up the Titan's gross blood, Kong took his meal near a cleavage. He is about to have a hearty meal, but the toothache hinders the process. Also, he can't do anything about it, weakening the power of protecting the wolves. Therefore, the crocodile steals the dead bodies, and he can't even stop it. Although a mini frog also mocks him, he ignores it. In the meantime, Dr. Andrews opens up about Godzilla's and Kong's territories. She's also studying the Hollow Earth and other titans there. Kong is believed to be the last one of the family, and a hopeless wall always renders his search. She also explains that Godzilla fights those horrible monsters, which makes it impossible for humans to fight back. Likewise, a mysterious spider-like creature is seen in Italy and Rome. The destruction to humanity is massive, but Godzilla soon takes control. He gives the monster a huge thrash and rides on it so its tentacles get locked. The monster still tries to win by swirling its mini fragment against Godzilla's face, but nothing can stop his magnetic attack. The electrifying atomic lasers emitting from Godzilla's mouth rapture its veins and explode the monster's body into pieces. The splash thrusts all over it, and the city is safe. Dr. Andrews and the Monarch's team notice some jolts in the Godzilla territory, and the radiators show high momentum spikes. This has never been recorded earlier, and the team knows nothing about it. Dr. Andrews's adopted daughter is studying at a special education school where she dozes off during class. She is not just a normal child, but a blessed one, so she starts having visions. She lays the graphite on the paper and draws some drawings. Her teacher blames her carelessness and calls Andrews to discuss the drawings, but she soon realizes that the drawings match the spikes gained from the radiators. Also, Gia is the last child from the Iwi tribe, so maybe her visions and drawings predict some unusual instances. Further investigation of the Iwi tribe reveals that a terrific storm destroyed the tribe completely and only a young girl survived. Doctor rescued her. Jia again starts having disturbed visions and shows her concern about meeting Kong in the Hollow Earth. Dr. Andrews thinks about taking her there because her visions consistently show some inconsistent happenings. Dr. Andrews meets his old friend Bernie and shows him the drawings for help. However, he was once a colleague of Andrews, so he is pleased to see her back. He informs us that the signals don't seem to originate from a Titan, but from humans. The drawings also predict the same thing, but how humans reach the hollow earth and generate these signals. She has to find out how to help her daughter. In an instant, she gets a notification of Godzilla's movements. He wakes up after a year of sleep and starts moving here and there. Also, Kong reaches near the monarchs and lies down in pain. Gia notices his pain and reveals his toothache. For his aid, a weird veteran put him on sedatives and flew down with a trapper through a helicopter. He plucks out the troubled tooth and replaces it with a new one. He also tries to flirt with Dr. Andrews, but she's better with comebacks. She also shows her concerns about the weird dreams of her daughter, but the veteran is hopeful for her because she has a great mom by her side. Kong wakes up and feels the pain right away. Kong also talks to Gia in sign language, which shows that they understand each other. Bernie reaches in and informs Andrews about the spikes. He predicts that the variation shows that someone from the Hollow Earth is calling us for help. Dr. Andrews immediately decides to collect a team of experts to discover the source. Gia also insists on going with them, to which she agrees, and five people fly into the Hollow Earth. Bernie also joined after a convincing session with Dr. Andrews. Kong also joins in, and they fall into the diving hole from where Kong and Hollow Earth start. It is a radiation box that is filled with thrills and adventures. After severe jolts, the flying machine reaches the place and gives them a roller coaster ride. They reach the land after almost losing their sanity. Right after moving into the territory, multiple verticians with glittery bodies welcome them with their melodious roars. They are completely harmless until you don't harm them. On the other hand, Godzilla has reached France's territory, causing extreme bioelectrical radiation. 
He magnifies the place with lurking sparks up to the sky and fuels the Earth for more. Monarchs send some radioactive missiles and bombard thousands of explosions at once. He absorbs the radiating energy and charges itself for an unknown purpose. They reach the monarchy base, which was destroyed. The smoky burns touch the sky, and you can't imagine the amount of damage done by a human. They also find a huge paw on the wall nearby, which doesn't resemble Kong. This means they have another danger waiting for them. Meanwhile, Kong steps into his cave and finds the axe. He also notices a rare sparkling opening, compels him to jump in with his supportive shiny axe. An entity is a baby monkey walking out of the hazy land. Kong tries to befriend him, but he bites his finger and gets a loud thrash. His elders also find Kong here and attack him with all their mighty powers. But Kong manages to put them down with his powerful stomps and stem winding thrashes. He also tries to keep one from falling, but gets revenge in return, so he deliberately pushes him down the hill. He also uses the baby monkey to splash them all when nobody respects his friendly hand. Baby monkey is still hiding, but Kong threatens to take him to his elders. Dr. Andrews gets some signals from a deep down dungeon and commands the ship to get down. Gia also wants that because she is curious about what's inside. However, the landing is smooth, but the crazy land scares the wits out of them when a fleshy plant engulfs the pilot. They run to save their lives and calm down the freaking out Bernie. He doesn't want to be the food for some random plant, but others are motivated to find out the hidden secrets. Although monarchs are still tracking the absurd movements of Godzilla, they can't find clarity. However, it is pretty much clear that he is drowning down in the water to fight some mega titan, maybe the glittery water titan. Surprisingly, Gia finds a hidden human civilization underneath writings on a wall. They get to know that this place is way older than their lineage. They also find the mark of the mother of titans on a wall. Also, it can hold several secrets, so when trying to figure out the possibilities here, Gia finds a hint from a shiny bug. She activates a passing route to another mysterious place covered by a translucent shield. They poke a hole and a bright sparkling light dazzles their eyes. They enter a magnificent heavenly place. In the meantime, Kong follows the baby monkey because he wants to find his likes. But this little mischievous friend tries to entrap him into another gigantic Titan's territory. It is a snake-like water creature with sharp dwindles and strangles himself against the Kong. But the heroic Kong splatters the monsters into pieces and intimidates the little monkey to guide the accurate route this time. He also feeds the little monkey with the parts of the water titan, which softens his heart for Kong and lets him sit closer without fear. Godzilla has reached the territory of another glittery titan and lured it to fight with him. It is not difficult for Godzilla to stand against the titan because his charge power is way beyond the limit. He fiercely untangles him from his body and activates the highly energetic atomic radiation through his mouth. The attack split the monster into pieces. The monarchs are astounded by the power he is holding and try to stabilize their submarine, which is throbbed by his attack. On the contrary, Andrews and others are surrounded by some forest people. They abducted them to their place, which is carved with gemstones and ancient civilizations. They try to maintain eye contact so they can't be misjudged, but soon the queen reads Gia's hands. They get to know that Gia belongs to them, and she also feels a connection with these people. Hence, they have been sending signals to Gia for calling her here. The queen let them into a dark room enlightened by the shiny liquid. The walls are several thousand years old and contain the remains of ancient human civilizations. They reveal that the hollow earth and the surface earth were living in harmony, and apes were responsible for protecting humanity. But one day, a giant furious ape calls out a battle between the worlds to win the surface world. He was named the Scar King, who is still ruling all other apes. Kong also reaches the land where his look-alike friends are doing laborious work. They are all under the rule of the Scar King and are obliged to follow his orders. Kong also saves an old ape from the bully, winning their hearts with his bravery. Although the actual power is still dominant, which is the Scar King who roams around here in his signature walk, he is wearing a bony weapon around his neck. He punishes the baby monkey by killing his dad for bringing a stranger into their territory. He also mocks Kong's fake teeth and induces rage in the air to make the fight more thrilling. He swirls down his weapon to mock the Kong, but he stops it with his bare hand. Although the weapon is attached to a sharp blade, it damages Kong's palm. A chill spinning fight starts and both strangle each other's throats. Kong fights equally in between the ignitions of magma layers and the King's followers. The Scar King finds the King competent, 
So he introduces his pet, Shimo. The Scar King can only introduce him because his weapon holds the magical stone. As long as the stone is carved into his weapons, Shimo will act obedient to him. The monster is covered in sparkly skin and tied with chains. Shimo is extremely powerful, but Kong still tries to fight back with his axe. He manages to block the damaging rays with it, but can't hold it for long and injures his hand. The baby monkey realizes that Kong is getting weaker, so he points to a cave for escape. The Scar King now possesses Kong's axe. Kong has been followed by the spectators of Scar King, but the baby monkey blocks their way. They are accumulated under the stones, and he helps Kong flee. However, one of the spectators still follows them with a staring walk. Dr. Andrews also reads the same scriptures on the walls, revealing that Godzilla is preparing to fight Scar King and Shimo because he knows that he can't defeat the world's ancient titan Shimo with his power. Shimo, being the pet of the Scar King, makes him the most powerful titan in today's world. Therefore, they need to wake up the dead god Mothra, and only Gia can do that because he is one of the ancient Aiwii of the ruined tribe. Hence the preparations for the ritual. In the meantime, Godzilla travels to places with high-quality plasma and radiation to absorb all the power. The Iwi tribe is helping Kong reach here soon because he is needed too. Therefore, they open a portal and injured Kong enters in with his new friend. The spectator also gets to know about the portal and informs his Scar King about it. He is super furious and set on his way to fight Kong on his beloved pet, Shimo. On the other hand, Kong is injured badly and informs Gia about his wounds. Godzilla has become extremely powerful and induces pink splinters on his back due to excessive radio absorption. Andrew's team is hopeful of trying an augmentation on Kong's injured hand. During this difficult time, they prepared it for so many years and he placed the electronic hand over Kong's actual hand. He feels even more powerful about it and is ready to fight the Scar King, but he needs to call Godzilla first, so he hopes to reach the surface of the earth in Egypt. He calls him with a loud roar, and Godzilla responds with the same frequency of scream. Hence, Godzilla reaches the pyramids of Egypt by destroying the shores and public places with his large paws. The Iwi tribes reach their sacred place for the ritual. Gia reaches for the top and touches the invisible sheet where Mothra is sleeping. She transfers her energy, and finally, the goddess of Titans is awake. The tribe closes the portal and lets Mothra reach the surface of the earth with Gia, where Kong is fighting with Godzilla. Kong tries to inform people about the danger of the Scar King, but Godzilla keeps throwing punches. Kong bears some of the rude blows, but then he starts sprouting his head with his electric throws. He tries to reel, but Kong doesn't stop until Mothra hops in and stops the fight. She informs us about the incoming danger. The Iwi tribe is about to close the portal for the Scar King by pouring red liquid into the magical fluid. The stones fly sky high to produce a protective shield, but the Scar King ruins everything. He throws a freezing attack and destroys the portal. The Scar King moves ahead to fight the Iwi tribe, but the Andrews team introduces thousands of veteranians on the Scar King to distract him. He also brought a portal to fly away. Luckily, they were saved. In the meantime, Kong and Godzilla jump in and start a fascinating fight with the Scrawling King. Godzilla has the power to fight Shimo back, and Kong is even more powerful now, so beating Scar King is fun. They hound each other in the portal and fight each other back with electrifying attacks. Kong gets his axe back and their weapons exhilaratingly touch each other with extreme powers and thrills. Baby monkeys also help against the Scar King. Godzilla fights back the freezing monster until Mothra hopes to help him escape the freezing storms. Suddenly, gravity lacks here and they can fall into the portals. All of them reach the Earth and the Scar King still wishes to rule the Earth. He allows his pet to suck the energy of the sun and let the world freeze again. He wants to bring the ice storm back and somehow manages to destroy the beaches of Brazil. But Godzilla interrupts and casts some hard blows on his face. His teeth fell down and Kong found the chance to laugh at him. The exhilarating fight between all the monsters pierces the city into pieces. Shimo again tries to numb Kong's hand with the ice attack, but Godzilla throws the same lasers to stop him. The baby monkey is still in the hollow earth, but finds the chance to bring Kong's weapon back to the surface of the earth. Kong is trying to destroy the sparkly diamond on the Scar King's weapon. Luckily, the baby monkey reaches on time and throbs it with Kong's axe. Surprisingly, Scar King loses all power and Kong thrashes him all the way around. Shimo is free now, and his beloved pet's ice attack kills him. Kong destroys his existence, bringing the Earth back to its normal position. 
Jaya is advised to live with her tribe and is happy to meet her people after all these years. Kong becomes the new empire of his territory and frees his people from the brutality of the Scar King. Shimo and Baby Monkey are his spectators now, and Godzilla finds a place to sleep for another year. If you love the movie, please comment. If you want us to cover more new release movies, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.